So it'll be interesting. Hey everybody, uh, I'm sitting here in Houston, Texas with a bunch of people at an event that I'm teaching. And I thought I'd say hello to everybody here on YouTube. So happy Sunday, everybody. Glad to see you here. Super glad to be back after not feeling so hot for the last few days. And I'm super grateful for all your recommendations on uh, just uh, fruit and vegetables to buy. You know, it's always <laughs> important to buy fruits and vegetables. All right. So I've got a bunch of my favorite traders in the room here. Uh, Roger, you can just say, hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. And Troy's here. Hey, Troy. How's it going? And Brian's here. Hey, guys. And Marcus is here. Hey, everybody. All right. So I have a question. Uh, Christian's here. Hey, Christian. Hey. So, Roger, at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of the week on a Sunday, what do you do, if anything at all, to get ready for the week? I look at global markets. You look at dirty pictures? What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was really young and I was really hungry in college. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to make excuses about what I do with my body. Okay, so, um, so Roger looks at the global markets. And yeah. by global markets, you want to see what last week – Yes. The the European markets did and how they and how they're causing the uh, e minis to trade overnight. How the how they're causing the futures, the U.S. futures, to react overnight to what happened last week in China and so forth. Okay, so how the global markets affect some of the major U.S. markets that you're going to be looking at, Marcus? What do you do at the beginning of the week? I just uh, push a button on the software to keep the best. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> he pushes a button. This is very similar. Um, all of you know that what I do on Sunday is make sure that the robot's going to turn on um, and I just make sure that it's running. But I also like to look at the global markets. I like to see, especially with Brexit and everything, everybody, like you know that I've been turning off some of those British pound currency pairs and I don't want those running. And you know that soon we're going to switch over to turning off the euro pairs because Spain and Italy and Greece are st and Portugal are still bankrupt, and that's not going to change anytime soon. So Kevin says, hey, everybody. Highlander says, welcome, Team Booker. GM says, I'm a new trader. I'm already seeing profits. So excited to keep the journey going. That's awesome. Nice to see you Mo, uh, from South Africa. Great. So it's nice to see you all here. Um, throw a bunch of questions in. Troy, what do you do at the beginning of the week? Well... After work, I said, double check to make sure it's actually Monday. Okay, so um, <laughs> check the calendar. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Um, great. And what if it is Monday, Troy? What do you do? Well, then I make sure it's not a three-day holiday. And you make sure it's not a holiday. Man, he's really trying not to work very hard. This is good. Yeah. So. So I try not to turn. I don't turn the lights on because I like to get my eyes acclimated. Right. You know? Okay. And so then I have to be sure I'm not like tripping over my son's skateboard in the middle of the hallway and falling down the stairs and breaking my neck yeah. on my way to my office. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, I fire up the uh, coffee, the computer, and then I start looking at what. My start time. I have a trade plan that says start at this time. So you have a trade plan and a start time. What time is it? Right when the market's open. Um, okay. That's really cool. So you know you need to be, you know where you need to be and what time you need to be there. Right. And I know how soon I have to get up and go through that whole process so that when I finally sit down, I so you have a process. To my routine. So you have like a checklist, like a doctor. Like it's like, right. let's make sure that we don't leave any sponges or junior mints inside of the well, patient. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't right. change that because that routine gets me in the frame of mind so that I can approach my trading day the same way. Each and every day. I love that routine. Um, I love that idea that you, we would have a checklist. So that's really good. Um, what's happening here, says Lloyd. Lloyd, I'm here doing a seminar with a bunch of llama trainers. One thing led to another, and then a bunch of people who train llamas for a living asked me to come on board. And so we're just talking about how to prevent them from spitting. Um, I'm scanned for setups every Monday. Frank says I love Rob's life. I don't know what Frank said, but hey, Frank, I love you anyway. Um, Tom says, love you, bro. Love you, Tom. How's it going, man? Um, Brian, what do you do on uh, the beginning of the week? How do yeah, you start the week kind off? Of, kind of similar. I mean, I, on Sunday night, I'm going to binge on some news to see what I missed while I was out uh, Friday and Saturday. Okay. Uh, great plans for the following week. Looking at uh, Favorite news source? Favorite news source? A few few different ones. I, mean, I, I Bloomberg, CNN. I mean, just, just kind of scan. Okay. The feed. I go to Bing a lot and, and just kind of scan. Bing is kind of tailors the news to you okay. of what you've been looking right. at recently. So those are really good uh, 
hit Ford's factory and look right. at what, what's coming up for the week so I can so, find out what news events I need to avoid. Okay, so news events. Yeah, I want to find out what I need to avoid when I need to turn things off or you know, maybe take a day away from the computer. That's definitely something that I could do as well, like pay attention to the economic calendar and kind of see what, what I might want to be avoiding with the robots or whatever else. That's great. Um, I used to hate Mondays. Now it's like a Friday. That's fantastic. That's great to hear from everybody here. So happy Sunday, everyone. Nice to see you here. I just wanted to say hello. I got all these super successful traders in the room. What do you do every Monday? Uh, first thing I do, take the dogs for the walk. Take a dog, take the dogs for a walk. Yeah. Get my coffee. Get the coffee. Pull up FinViz. Oh yeah, FinViz. Yeah, I fin love FinViz. That's a good one. And then, uh, of course, Twitter and yeah. Uh, and um, what do you scan for on FinViz? Do you have a, a like a set of parameters I, that you I know you like? I use FinViz for uh, the articles and blogs. And oh, really? I so not for those, scanning? No, I only go there for uh, just looking at articles and reading. What platform do you place your options trades on? Thinkorswim. Thinkorswim. And uh, Roger, I think I saw you use Tastyworks. Yes. That's really cool. Christian, what's your routine like? So Christian uses this software that's basically mirroring what an institution would look at at certain levels, like supply and demand levels. So Christian, what are you doing? Pretty much the week starts Sunday night. The week starts Sunday night. News, news events coming up, um, looking at uh, market movements in the prior week uh, and searching for trade locations for the next week. We're trying to schedule the place we want to trade the very next week ahead of time. And um, that's the Sunday night exercise. So levels. Yeah. You're really looking at levels on Sunday night at which you want to place trades. I think of this. So what I like to use your software for is I like to, there's going to come a day when I'm going to turn the robot on when price hits certain demand levels down below. And I know there's going to be buying pressure and turn the, the robot on to go short only when it hurts, hits certain supply levels above. And I know I want to favor shorts at those levels. And then I can just turn it on to only go in that one direction or another. All right. Uh, Embassy of the Word of God says, happy Sunday. God bless you. God bless all of you. Rob, what do you think of the pound dollar tomorrow? I don't care about the pound dollar tomorrow. And I'm not running the robot on the pound dollar. I'm leaving the, the British pairs, all the, U, all the British stuff off the robot. I'm turning it off. I'm ignoring it. I'm waiting until they sort all their business out. And if that takes them a year, that's fine. But until then, I'm not going to predict that I have anything to do with or I can figure that out or I know what's going to happen next. And it's just a crap shoot and it's just too dangerous for me to even think about. So I know that's an unsatisfactory answer and you probably hate me and now you're unsubscribing and I don't <laughs> care. So um, thanks so much for your question, Farhad. Baz says, it's a Monday now where I am. So how is the future? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Love you so much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.